Ivan Kostredevich. I'm one of the co-founders of Numerical, a company that's bringing deep learning to mobile and IoT devices. Sorry, something's gone wrong. Can you try that again? So I think we've all been here arguing in the middle of the night with Alexa to turn on the lights or arguing with Siri to give us what's our next meeting and when or even yelling at Google to reroute while we were driving down 280. This happens because all of these machine learning and enabled applications actually do not run on a device. They need internet connection, they need cloud to function. If, we, if either of those fail, we don't get to use this service. And it really creates this feeling it's not something we can rely on. And if we can't rely on our device to bring up the calendar, can we truly believe that we can build autonomous robots in construction? What happens if in the disaster recovery the server goes down? Do we really think we can actually build personalized medical devices and you know, expect people to always be online? And do we really believe we can actually deliver on the promise of the self-driving car? So the solution we are seeking here at Numerical is to do the exact opposite of what people have been doing for the past couple of years. Instead of putting everything on the cloud, move as much as possible back to the device. The first thing that happens is that the user can actually control their content and their data. Data never leaves the device unless the user wants it. And with less data flowing uh, over the internet, there is less traffic, there is less load on the servers, meaning that both the user and the service provider pay fewer fees. Most importantly, since you always have your device with you, you can use it anytime you want. The application is running on the device, so you get better reliability. Of course, we're trying to work with deep learning, and the problem here is that deep learning currently lives on the cloud, on computers that look like this, or actually farms of these. Vastly more powerful than what we have in our pocket. So the challenge is how to bring, uh, bridge that gap and bring deep learning from the cloud to the mobile device. The race here is pretty much decided. NVIDIA is winning, right? But no one knows how to do that, this. And the reason why we know that is because we went out uh, through NSFI core and Foundry, talked to more than 150 people in the industry, and this is what we hear. This is from tier one uh, smartphone supplier. They complain that the prototypes they make for their apps work on the cloud infrastructure, but they don't work very well on the mobile class device, right? In the wearables and medical space, people are actually eager to get rid of this problem altogether. They don't want to know how the prototype actually gets mapped to the device. They just want it done. Uh, we hear the same thing in uh, automotive space, specifically in self-driving, where everything you see on TV is pretty much for show because there is a server-class device in the trunk, and that's not something that's easy to deploy uh, in production. Right? And by the way, for those who need this, this is a great way to get offers, to get job acquired, merged, or something like that. And this is easy to understand if we cross-validate what we're hearing from people in companies with what their users are saying. So if you go on Twitter, it's easy to confirm that a lot of developers are complaining that they cannot deploy on a mobile class device. And they're asking why and what needs to change for this to be possible. In other words, what we read here is that people really need help on this front. And Numerical is actually well positioned to provide that help because what we are specializing in is in providing efficient ways to use off-the-shelf components. So we're not pro proposing here to change the hardware that people are shipping. We want to deploy on what they already have in the pipeline because we don't think it's necessary to keep, uh, bring in risky changes of hardware. Let me give you an example. If you look at what people can do currently, best-in-class solution for deep learning on a mobile class device, this is what they complain about, this is what they don't like. Right now, by embracing the heterogeneous compute capabilities of mobile phones, we can do about 3x better. We have prototypes uh, that show that it should be possible to do six times better, and we think we're, we'll have the development done in three to six months. And after that, we're really shooting for that 10x better, uh, uh, 10x improvement it's going to really bring certain new applications uh, to fruition. We already have a collaboration here in content delivery over internet and compression. Our product is basically a software platform that connects into this uh, cloud infrastructure that people already have in place, takes the large cloud-sized neural network, cuts it down, 
uh, makes it mobile and uh, IoT friendly, packages all the code and data that you need to do updates over the air. Our beachhead market is in smartphones and mobile apps, where we see this as a license fee business to business transaction, and we see a $1 billion plus market uh, forming based on the number of units that people are shipping, number of application per smartphone or a device, number of networks that we're currently hearing from people that want to deploy, and number of yearly updates that we're negotiating for our per first NRE. By the way, this is not the new amount of money that needs to be somehow figured out in the company. Most of this can actually come from the fees that they're already paying to cloud and internet providers, right? Because once you move it to the device, there is significantly less traffic and uh, compute power that you need on the cloud. The same technology that we're currently developing will be able to hit the ground running once these big emerging markets happen. Because they're going to be deploying on the same kinds of uh, mobile class devices that we're currently working with in, mobile, in the mobile space. Our team is, as I said, from MIT and Cal, uh, <laughs> currently supported by DARPA, NSF, and the Foundry. And we have advisors who are experienced entrepreneurs. So I have an ask that's twofold. First, if you're a machine learning expert and you're excited about deploying deep learning on the cloud's edge and in mobile space, please come talk to us. We'd love to see if we can work together. Or if you're an investor looking for this kind of investment in the next couple of months uh, with deep understanding and connections in these emerging markets, we would love to talk to you. So take that call. It's coming in the fall of 2017. Thank you very much.